Okay, we'll give you the stern view here. This has got the uh, Yamaha four-stroke, 200 horsepower, some tremendous performance characteristics. It's got a little house here so you can tie up extended swim steps. Stainless steel rub rail, all stainless steel through hulls. Trailer with diamond plate, brakes. Here you see your shore power outlet. Let's try to get a wider angle here. This boat's so big it's hard to... Pilot house. Deep V hull. This boat's got the reverse chine, so what happens is the water comes up here, hits this chine, and gets deflected down away from the side of the boat. So you get a much drier ride. Also have lifting strakes, so you reduce your uh, planing speeds substantially. Super deep V hull gives you a soft ride. There's the uh, pilot house. Again, there's an aft curtain that comes down here. It drops down, so it's a great boat for the Central Coast. Or like I said, normally around here in the afternoon, you put up the top and uh, got a real warm ride on the way in. Great early morning on the way out, and then you open it up, great fishing platform. The Striper 270, here we go. It's got a very unusual transom. We'll show you in a second. It actually folds down and has access to the stern of the boat, so you don't have to go over the transom if you're a diver. And then there's a back seat that flips out here. We'll show you that. Okay, here's the uh, aft seat folded out. Nice when it folds up. It's flush with the transom, so you can lean up against it for fishing. And on the port and starboard side, you also have uh, bait tanks, great for mackerel or what have you. And then there's two larger bait tanks in the middle of the boat. So it's great. Get the mackerel, cast it off. Got plenty of room. It's translucent top, real heavy duty uh, hinges including a uh, light. Access the transom flop down. There's two little levers that you flip here on the port and starboard side and then uh, it folds down. Okay, go ahead and fold it down. So that's all folds down like that. You have direct access out through the transom. This has a non-skid on it so you can stand up here if you'd like and uh, Again, it's really great if you're a diver or just want to get a little bit closer to gaff the fish or if you get a large fish it's not quite a marlin door but it can work the same this boat's equipped with the uh, Yamaha twin 200s so that's the flip transom and uh, put it back in go ahead and we'll flip it back in just flips over and then there's two latches you latch on each side and that's it very simple. Okay, and here we go with the Striper 270. You've got some speakers here. Uh, there's a table. There's a lower post, and this converts down and gives you your V berth. It's equipped with a uh, microwave, shore power control. It's got a nice little galley, electric alcohol stove, nice sink. This is a storage area in here. This is a remote uh, for your stereo system. Shore power panel, I've got a lot of light in here. You've got uh, two portholes on the port side, one on the starboard side. Then you have this hatch that has kind of the uh, frosted cover. The back of the seats come off to make the uh, V berth. Here's some additional storage here. Here's some outlets here that you have, cup holders. You even have a uh, refrigerator here. A lot of uh, features for a 27 foot boat. Another storage area here underneath the sink. And then of course you have a head here. That's an extra table that you have. It's an option. It's got the Japsco pump out head. And this also doubles as a shower. Your sump pump is down there. And you have a portal here as well. This is access to the back of the uh, panel for the electronics in the helm area. Like the 29, this has a little removable uh, trash can and some additional storage under the step as you come out into the uh, cockpit. Okay, this is the helm area. You've got full controls here. Everything's illuminated and clearly marked for your accessories, defroster, stereo. This boat's got the Alaska package, so it's fully enclosed. It has windlass for the anchor. 
controls for your stereo. This has the dual controls and uh, trim tabs here for the twin engine operation. It's got a Yamaha multi-gauge panel. It tells you all the details about the operation of the engines, water flow, and it has a Raymarine GPS hybrid touch screen radar system and uh, fish finder. Fully equipped. One of the coolest things about this boat is the seats. Really luxury type seats. Very well upholstered. Got armrest and this front area folds up. So if you do want to stand at the helm, you can flip up this pedestal and you can stand right there at the helm. It does have a tilt helm as well. So it's probably some of the nicest seats that I've seen on a boat this size. It's the port side of the boat. You have sliding windows here for the pilot house. So if it's a hot day, you can get some ventilation. There's also one here in the very center. So again, a lot of the times we need this in the afternoon when the cools down, but when it's warm outside, you can uh, get some good ventilation. Raymarine VHF radio, it's all installed, ready to go. Additional radio box here with some uh, access for storage. This has the new type of hinges that don't require pneumatic operation or the ram that normally you'd see on a hatch. LED lights light up this uh, area as well. Starboard side, we have some uh, plano boxes that slide in and out. And we also have the same thing here on the port side. And again, you can see the LED lights light up this area. So at night, you don't have to worry about tripping something. A little storage area here on each side and a uh, cup holder. Just like on some cars now, you have the auxiliary USB port so you can charge your phone right in this area. Okay, this is between the helm uh, seat and the uh, port seat. Easy access to all your through holes. This can also be used uh, for additional storage, life jackets, and that sort of thing. See all the plumbing, water pickup for the head, transducer, it's a through hole uh, transducer you can see right there. And then this is all got a lip around it here, so if you're washing down the deck, you're not going to get any water down there. Okay, behind each seat, you have uh, these auxiliary bait tanks. So this boat actually has a total of four bait tanks. There is a light in there. It's all gel coated. Pretty large, probably about uh, 35 gallons. That closes, and then on the port side, you have the same type of tank. So, again, you can have several kinds of bait, types of bait. Again, this has got a lip, it's got a gasket, it has a ram right here. It's lockable, so you're not going to have it bounce open. If you're not using it for that, you can use it for a built in ice chest, or you can use it for dry storage if you add a plug. You also have fish boxes on the port and starboard side in the deck. They do have a macerator and they're very deep. This one's probably about 12 to 16 inches deep. Again, they can be used for dry storage with the lip and the drain. These you see here, these little clips, there's an aft curtain that comes on this uh, pilot house so you can be completely enclosed. And there's a heater defroster system as well. Again, more LED lights. You do have some rod storage here. They're kind of short, good for bait sticks or gaffs. Here's your macerator switch right here on the starboard side. Here's the bait tank on the starboard side, same thing on the port side. Pretty deep, uh, great for mackerel or you know, you just need a smaller quantity of bait. Great for, like I said, you're making bait, take the mackerel off, they go right into this tank, very easy access. And then this is the back area, you have kind of a extended swim step on the port and starboard side. There's the fuel fill right here. You do have recessed uh, pop-up cleats feature you see on uh, more expensive boats you have trolling rod holders here and then I'll show you a little bit more later but you have six rod holders up top and then we have an LED light now this zipper here is for the aft curtain and you have a speaker system with a stereo this boat's completely loaded including all electronics and rate turn by the seat you have full uh, dual battery switches dual batteries and uh, this out here is for the extra table. If you want a table out here, you've got a second table you can put out here. You want to put down the back seat. You'll have, or the stern seat, you'll have some nice, really notice the heavy duty hinges that we have back here. It's really well made. Port side has a raw water wash down and uh, 
again, you see the LED lights, that other black switch is the uh, macerator switch, and these are your overboard drains for the self bailing cockpit. Okay, this is a new feature they put on this boat. You have a, instead of having just one big step up, you have a little short step up there, so you can go up here and uh, do the walk around, nice size walk around. There's also a handrail up top, so when you walk around, you have something to hold on to. Here's your radar system. And of course, this has already got the VHF in. Walk around. Nice thing about this, instead of having a rounded fore deck, this is all, it's got a gradual slope, but it's all non skidded, so it's a lot easier to stand on. This boat came in, so this is a shrink wrap support. And then, of course, you have an anchor with the windlass, beautiful uh, stainless steel anchor, all the guide plates, your up and down switches are here, and you also have up and down switches there at the uh, helm area. Nice rounded bow area, very high, so if you want to stand up here and throw iron, you can uh, definitely uh, do that. Okay, this is the forward hatch, and we'll pan back. Here's the windows that open. You have dual wipers on this boat. It's got a real high-end uh, LED forward light, so if you want to look for some crab traps, you can do that. It's got the uh, Raymarine Quantum radar system. And again, you'll see the vents here for the uh, defroster. 